everybody! Welcome back to Biblical Secrets. Today we're going over the wicked tongue. What does the Bible say about lying? It's time to seek the truth. Okay, let's get started. The first verse we're going over is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 22, which reads, Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord but they that deal truly are his delight. As you clearly see, this verse says, it's an abomination to the Lord when you lie. Here, let's define the word abomination. It means to cause disgust or hatred. That means that God feels disgusted or hates when you lie, but those who deal truly are his delight. The next verse we're going over is Revelation chapter 21, verse eight, which reads, but the fearful, and unbelieving, and abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and adulterers, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Notice, this verse said that all liars will have their part in the lake of fire, and no lie is acceptable. There are so many verses that say this. Here, let's take a look at another verse found in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 9. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. So as you can see, God says, if you speak a lie, you will perish. Now that's a strong statement. That's why we must repent and turn from our lies and never lie again. The Bible even tells us that the devil is the father of lies, as we read in John chapter 8, verse 42. Ye are of your father the devil, and lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. So lying is of the devil, because he is a liar and the father of lies, and lying is not of God. So we must repent and put our trust and faith into Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Tune in next time to seek the truth.